Computer chip shortage during the pandemic crippled vehicle and tech sales for the last two years, but now the U.S. Senate passed a key bill to ease the semiconductor shortage and produce more in the U.S. Thanks for watching the news at 530. I'm David Custer and I'm Meg McLeod. Elise will be joining us in just a few moments. TV 5's Raven Blue reports the passage of the Chips Act will have a big impact on Michigan's auto industry and our country. We can only be a great country when you make things. Semiconductor chips are in everything from cars and trucks to washing machines and cell phones. But because of the pandemic, the production of these small chips was halted and shined a light on a major manufacturing issue. We found out during the pandemic uh, just how serious that is for us when one company in Taiwan uh, was making, has been making the majority of the auto grade chips that we need in this country. But now the country is one step closer to getting the chips that are needed to move the economy forward. In a 64 to 32 split, the Senate voted to advance a $280 billion bill designed to boost the semiconductor industry in the United States. A vote that Senators Gary Peters and Debbie Stabenow both say will not only help bring down inflation, but it's critical for national security. Our military depends on on these very high-end uh, chips to uh, power our weapon systems, our advanced uh, weapon systems, uh, and without them, it puts us uh, in jeopardy and actually endangers our national security. The Chips for America Act, short for the Creating Helpful Initiatives to Produce Semiconductors for America Act, would designate $52 billion in subsidies and offer investment tax credit to encourage semiconductor companies to boost manufacturing in the U.S. We're going to be creating good-paying jobs uh, in the United States, and we're going to be furthering our economic, homeland, and national security. This is truly a win-win uh, for, uh, for our country. The bill would still need to pass the House before it could go to the president for his signature. Democrats hope to pass the legislation before the August recess. Raven Blue, WNEM-TV5.